What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy. Today I'm going to be sharing some battles from a tour I participated in recently. So these will be real Regulation G matches. Uh, I threw together something. It's this Calyrex Ice Team. Uh, it's just based on something I saw over on Cloverbell's channel. Uh, so I'll send, just put a link to that in the description here. Uh, but basically, I just threw something together because I wanted to use Calyrex Ice and I wanted to use a really solid good team. Uh, my results may not have been the best overall. I don't know if I really meshed with this team, but maybe you will. But I'm only going to leave this code up for the next week or so. So if you want it, go download it now. Otherwise, it won't be up for very long because I'm going to be updating this team. But anyway, let's jump right into the battles. Okay, we've got our first match. Let's go. Kyogre team. Awesome. All right. What do I have that can take a hit from Kyogre? Oh, I have a Rockwinid. Wide guard spam just hurts all of them so hard, which is great. Um, wide guard might be my only way of getting up Trick Room. Uh, Water Calyrex could also get up Trick Room in front of Kyogre. Wonder if I want to just lead a Rackwinid Calyrex, get up Trick Room that way. I would be a little worried about, like, a Taunt Tornadus lead. Which would be good for, like, an Amoongus Calyrex. Like a Terra Water. I do like a Rackwinded either way. It just blows up everything that isn't Ogre Pond and then also Ogre Pond. Uh, I don't think Flutter is the way. They've got Priority Sucker Punch, they've got their own Flutter Main, they've got Tailwind. But it's not Incineroar either, so I guess it's Porygon 2 in the back? Yeah, Porygon 2 lead doesn't really work against Kyogre. Kyogre is like one of the things that can probably hurt the duck. So... We'll see. We will see. Oh, that's a great card, too. Love it. All right. I wish I had gotten more practice with this team, but here we go. It is Tornogre on lead. That's fine. I led this specifically so that I could Rage Powder away a Taunt, Terra Water Trick Room. Now, okay, they're not going for Terra. My biggest fear was like Choice Specs, Terra Water, Water Spout. Plus a Bleak Wind Double Up would probably be the strongest thing. I do expect a Bleak Wind Double Up. I might just lose a Moongus. But that's not the biggest deal in the world. Oh, uh, it was Taunt. Yes! Caught you. I can Pollen Puff spam to my heart's content. How much does this do, though? Oh, not so bad. I'm guessing that's not Specs Kyogre. Okay. Awesome. I am perfectly happy to throw a Lance. Do I want to throw a Lance and Pollen Puff up? Uh, it's probably a Bleak Wind Storm here, so I don't want to just bring in a Rack when it hard. I definitely want a Lance. Keep Calyrex healthy. Okay, I'm sure you've got something that resists. You got Incineroar. You got King Gambit. That's what it was. I don't think. Did you have Incineroar? No, you had both Genies. And you had Water Ogre Pond. And this. Yeah, okay, I know everything. Pathetic. Oh, and they have thunder. Nice. You take that pretty. Woo! Paralyzed. Yikes. Well then. Thunder is a problem. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna protect and bring an Araquanid. Uh, swapping out a Moongus will let me possibly spore something later. Uh, I can't just Pollen Puff up because Sucker Punch plus Thunder would take it. I could have gone for the trade for King Gambit with like a high horsepower there, but I don't think that's worth it right now. Ooh, Origin Pulse. So they read that. They read that pretty hard. Can I win with the back two? Probably not. Uh, I'm in trouble. I'm gonna go throw. A, I'm gonna throw a high horsepower and a liquidation, expecting one of these to get sucker punched away. Liquidation should take it. High horsepower would get redirected if it does. Okay. And crit sucker punch. Cool. Yeah, that was just a good read. Uh, that last turn, they knew I was protecting Calyrex. Oh, and I don't even take King Gambit. Ooh, that's rough. That's really rough. All right. It's up to Porygon 2 to win the day. Yeah, Porygon 2 is pretty good. I already burned Terra, though, and I think I'm going to get a physical attack boost here. Depends on how bulky their Kyogre is, I guess. Yeah, physical attack. Lame. One turn of Trick Room remains. I'm gonna Pollen Puff the King Gambit. And Terra Blast Kyogre. I think Kyogre might have been saving Terra Grass. Oh, they're just swapping, that's fine. Probably into a score immunity? It is. Okay, fine. That's fine. That's great. No sucker punch. You're gone. Goodbye. Still have to worry about Kyogre, and I'm very worried about Kyogre. Because I cannot redirect the Ogre Pond. So an Origin Pulse Ivy Cudgel double up could really hurt the Porygon. Uh, they could also just bring out Tornadus and taunt something. Oh, they didn't do that. Okay. Uh, I will poll Pollen Puff Porygon 2, because it has to live. If it doesn't live the double up, then I have no chance anyway. Um, Pollen Puff could get redirected into Ogre Pond. I don't think that's what they would go for here, though. Pollen Puff the P2 and set Trick Room. And if they do follow me, I mean, that means they're not doing the other thing. Water Spout connects, does a ton of damage. Oh, it crit Amoongus, okay. And they do double up the Cudgel. Can we take it? We cannot. Good game to opponent number one. <laughs> All right, I guess I wasn't ready for Kyogre matchup. Cool. Yep, Pollen Puff fails. GG. GG. Th that's one of the greatest trainer cards, too. I love it. Okay. Well, let's see if we can get an actual match this time. That continues to the end. Uh, it's another Kyogre. Three for three on finding Kyogres. Great. Uh, this Kyogre matchup seems actually a little bit better for Calyrex than the last ones. So that's at least something good. Tornadus is going to have Taunt, so we're going to lead Amoongus. 100%. Amoongus and... Calyrex ain't bad. wonder if I even want to just try to delete Tornadus instantly instead of going for Trick Room. But we'll redirect and we will Calyrex, and then... They've got a lot of water resists, so I don't know about Araquanid, actually. P2 doesn't seem bad. Um, with, that's probably Water Urshifu, so I don't want Incineroar. I'm gonna need to burn Terra on Calyrex. Which makes me a little bit weak to the 
Raging Bolt. In that case, I want Fluttermane in the back for outside of Trick Room. Yeah, especially if I do go for the plan and just eliminate Tornadus. They don't get Tailwind, and then Fluttermane can actually sweep. Maybe I don't even use that much Trick room -ness. And it's a Typhlosion! A sleepy one! With its flames off. Just chilling on the floor. It's always this lead. Alright, let's see if it goes the same way this time. I will Rage Powder, and I will Terra Water, and I will... I don't see any reason not to trick him. I was thinking just go straight for the gl Glacial Lance, but I don't know. I don't think so. Not this time. I really appreciate a Terra here that resists water, though. I'm here to learn, and what I've learned is have something to resist water. Uh, I guess I could have gone Araquanid and Wide Guard Glacial Lance, but no, then they would just Thunder the Araquanid. Oh, it's just a Bleak Wind Storm. Into Water Spout. Into. Wow! Bah! Ugh. You alright, Callie? Crit. Crit in the Calyrex. Okay. That's fine. That's not fine, but that's fine. It'll have to be fine. <laughs> go, Porygon to the festive. Cherish Ball. Let's go. Get a special attack. It's physical attack. It's always physical attack against Kyogre. The thing has a monster of a special defense stat. Well then, I Terra Blast the Kyogre. Yeah, I Terra Blast the Kyogre. And I throw a Glacial Lance. Ah, I was considering Protect. Stall out a little bit my own Trick Room, but... Alright, Tornadus does go down. That's pretty good. But probably not good enough. <laughs> Unless I can dodge an Origin Pulse. Oh no, they just go for Thunder, though. Leaving Porygon 2 all nice and healthy and happy. Problem is now I got a fast Fluttermane. <laughs> Being forced onto the field by all of this damage. Kyogre, are you crazy? Kyogre is genuinely insane. Cool. Alright, Fluttermane, the chosen one. Let's see what you can do. Chose you for a reason. And that is behind everything, but it's Dark Urshifu. What's my win condition here? Uh, they're probably gonna have to Origin Pulse. They could double Flutter Main. Lock Dazzling Gleam, and I'm gonna Terra Blast the Urshifu. Okay, now they're pulling out a Terra. Terra Flying. Um, that doesn't really change that these two moves would KO if you let me do them. I just don't. Oh, you're gonna let me do them. I think I can take a hit from Urshifu. Not bad damage, thank you for the crit. Oh, they have Iron Head. Goodbye. Oh, good live! God, it's a flinch. Of course it's a flinch. <laughs> what did I expect? Alright, Terra Blast, and... Well, I can switch up my move now, since I never did one. But it's gotta be Dazzling Gleam. 
Okay, they just detect there and what, water spout, maybe? Because I got a crit on that Terra Blast, so the next one's not even going to KO. And there's a water spout, and there goes Fluttermane. Oof. I am not liking Kyogre. <laughs> what do we got? Last turn of Trick Room, last turn of Rain. I'm out of this one. Yeah, good game. I cannot win this from here. Okay, we got another match. All right, let's try to win one. Oh, Calyrex Shadow, cool. Uh, they have a wide guard user. They have an Indeedee, who knows if it has Imprison. Uh, Porygon 2 seems all right, except for Mind Shao pressure. Amoongus would be kind of bad, maybe. Okay, uh, I mean, I'm expecting Mind Shao and Shadow Rex. In which case, I could... Double Protect, send my own Wide Guard. Wide Guard seems really good here. They've got a lot of spread. And I don't want to do P2 because I'd be worried about a Psychic move and a Fighting move doubling up because I'm a normal type, but then I'm Terra Poison. I don't see Fluttermane being the play. They got some fast stuff. I do like Incineroar, I just can't bring it in front of Mind Shao. And then, who beats Mind Shao? Amoongus? Fluttermane? It probably has Taunt, it probably has Wide Guard. Amoongus... doesn't do that well. Maybe it is Fluttermane. Could've been P2. Yeah, I'm doing P2 last. Alright. Here we go! Another learning experience, and this time against the other horse. Oh, and they got a photo with Ogre Pond. Classic. Good luck on these trainer cards today. I love it. Okay, she you mind shot. Understandable. I've got my a nerve activated. You've got your beads of ruin activated. That reveals no speed information. You wouldn't faint overheat, would you? Okay, uh, I, I think I psyched myself out. I think I'm trying to read a feint from that mind show that probably won't even happen. I, I probably should have just double protected turn one, gotten rid of their fake out turn, and gone from there. Yep, they did in fact fake out. And Dark Pulse my Araquanid for a ton of damage. And Mind Chow is Sash. Cool. Well, I really need the Trick Room up. And I feel comfortable protecting Araquan at this turn. I don't think it would be a Calyrex double up, but Dark Pulse close combat would be scary. Oh no, they're doing it. Just Dark Pulse the Arachnid again, you can get rid of it. No, oh, come on! I have gotten zero reads right <laughs> in my entire life. Okay. We bring in Incineroar. Now what they can do is bring in their Indeedee. 
and then click Close Combat or Dark Pulse. They could also just Close Combat Incineroar and Dark Pulse Araquanid without swapping at all. I'm gonna fake out the Chiyu. Yeah, they're gonna read exactly that, okay. And they're gonna take out Araquanid. Wow. Wow. I mean, some, some days you just can't be playing. <laughs> Today is not my day. Oh, wow. Okay. And yeah, Dark Pulse the Araquanid. Goodbye, Araquanid. Thank you for playing. Thank you for trying. You did your best. Oh, boy. Well, I can probably get up Trick Room now. I get an attack boost that is completely useless. I'm gonna knock off at Ndidi. And I'm gonna set Trick Room. But for all the good, it'll do me. Oh, a helping hand. Dark Pulse. Into P2. We eat. Thank you. That's two shot. Oh, we flinched. Okay, here we go. A Maridon team. A very cool Maridon team at that. Maridon is weak to ice. So we've got one thing going for us. What are their likely leads to stop the Trick Room? Uh, they could just go Maridon and Fire Pond and blow stuff up. That's always an option. Uh, their only fake out immunities would be a Terra Ghost or a Covert Cloak. Incineroar could be good. Especially our fast Incineroar to fake out their Incineroar. I don't think Jugulus usually carries Taunt. But a lot of those Pokemon learn Taunt. Uh, so that's what I think I want to do. I want to fake out. And I want to Trick Room. And I don't want to lose Calyrex in the process. So it's got to be P2. They've got some heavy hitters. P2 can take one hit from any one of those. But not much more than that. Then obviously I bring Calyrex. This is a good Calyrex game. Uh, who's the problem for Calyrex? The problem for Calyrex is going to be... I mean, Incineroar is not a huge problem. And the other problem would be... Fire Pond and maybe Bundle. Bundle's just a problem, period. I'm gonna bring Araquanid. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Araquanid last. It's not great into Bundle. In fact, nothing really is, except P2. But P2 can take on Bundle all day. And they've got a trainer card. With a cat and a dog. I love that dog. I love all the dogs they added in this game. Okay. Whose Intimidate goes first? My Intimidate goes first. Hooray. Which actually makes me the faster Incineroar, and yet I'm gonna do Trick Room. Uh, at least P2 is slower than their Incineroar. Now, do you have Taunt on your Grim Snarl? Or are you just setting up screens? Screens is fine. I don't feel all that pressure to even set up Trick Room right away. I could just chip down the Incineroar at first. We have to get our fake out first. And then they flinch. And then Thunder Wave. Oh. Yeah, that's not Taunt. I'm cool with that. 
make me even slower. Oh, but I can't move. Incredible play. Great, great play. So good. So proud of you. Excellent play. I want a parting shot there in Cineroar. Soften it up. And then set Trick Room this time. Yeah, light screen, whatever. Yeah, because this way they can't really do much damage. Whatever it is they were gonna think about doing. And I can get into Calyrex and hopefully have Trick Room up. <laughs> Come on, P2. I have to believe in you. And I'd prefer... Would I prefer a Raquinid? Yeah. Actually, I would. Because this might just be a knockoff of P2. That's, like, so juicy of a play to make. It's a Will-O-Wisp. Oh, thank goodness. Good, good play with the Araquinid there. Uh, still... Not getting the Trick Room. Alright, who's their Liquidation Swap in? It's either their Legendary or Iron Bundle. Either one of those would be a great position to Trick Room in. Can I finally get it? Yep, slow me down too. I love being slow. I have no problem with being slow. And yep, you just parting shot out. Makes perfect sense. Who's gonna take this liquidation while I set up Trick Room? Because it's gonna happen this time. I'm due. I'm due some luck in this tournament. And in this game. Alrighty. Okay, it's your legendary. Cool with me. Liquidation can do something. No, it cannot. Double. Okay, how many turns has P P2 been paralyzed for? Three now? And I never got Trick Room. So Araquanid is just dead. I lose one Pokemon here. If they want to just target the Araquanid slot, Araquanid just dies. have to get Trick Room. I finally break through with Paralysis to get a Protect off. And you try to Volt Switch that slot. I'm happy with that. Incineroar can probably take a Volt Switch. And yeah, Porygon 2 is going to get weakened a bit. That's okay in my book. If I can finally get Trick Room! Yes! Finally! Thunder Wave, Spirit Break, Light Screen. You never, you've still not felt the need to protect. Uh, I'm gonna bring in Incineroar. And Calyrex. It's risky, but I mean, I need to do something to get ahead here. I think after the Araquanid Protect, they feel really safe to Volt Switch that slot. If they feel like Volt Switching at all. The fact that I have Trick Room up might scare them, but I don't think they're particularly threatened by a weakened P2 and an Araquanid. Do finally set up Reflect. I guess they're just going for Volt Switch, that's fine. Oh, it's Electro Drift this time. That's less fun, but you're not Specs. So we eat that. Volt Switch made me think Specs, but that's fine. We still have an Incineroar. Alright.
Obviously, they're not going to sit there and take a Glacial Lance. They're, so they're going to swap Incineroar into that slot or Protect. I'm going to hit not. I'm going to hit Knock Off and High Horsepower into that slot, predicting it to become Incineroar. Oh, yep, it's going out. I guess it should have been a parting shot there. But it's alright. Yep, clear amulet will prevent that. I get good damage through reflect. Spirit break does nothing. Oh, that's fine. I'm gonna leave you on the field. I don't care. And was it just a berry the whole time? Yeah, it was just a berry anyway. Okay. I'm gonna now parting shot their Incineroar. If they try to attack, they'll get high horsepower. If they fake out Calyrex, I get the parting shot. Yeah, that's fine. They fake out Incineroar. That's an interesting take. Oh, just a Thunder Wave on Calyrex. You've been getting a lot of mileage out of those Thunder Waves. Not this time. All right, a KO. Let's go. That's huge. Getting that attack boost, so good. And it's in order to slinch as well. Yeah, there's your Tomodachi. That's gotta be bait, right? Volt Switch makes me actually think you would be a Salt Vest. Oh, it's the last turn of Trick Room already? I'm gonna go for Glacial Lance and I'm gonna parting shot the other slot. Okay, they swapped Maridon, it was bait. Into Machinidra. Oh, I love that. Oh, I'm fine with this. Definitely made the right play then. At plus one in Reflect, I think I can take that out, right? Yes, I can. Excellent. So good. All right, now what was the speed interaction between these two? Spirit Break goes first. Okay, does that KO? Nope. <laughs> One HP. Let's go. And you're weakened even more. Fantastic. Bring in Porygon 2. Yeah, and then the play is definitely protect Calyrex, set Trick Room with P2. Because if I can get both of those off, I basically get into a winning position, a lot, uh, assuming Paralysis goes my way a couple times. If they knock out P2, I can bring in Incineroar, and then I can fake out and go for Trick Room. And my best Terra would be... Maybe P2, just to switch the Terra Blast to physical. Could also get more damage out of Araquanid. But yeah, it's Trick Room, and it's Protect, 100%, but my chances of succeeding with both of those are about 50%. So not great. Thunder Wave is a problem. Uh, and they're Terra Fairy, that makes sense. 
That's just defensive. Uh, that makes Araquanid look better, though. Okay, I get to protect at least. Worst case scenario would be just P2 gets paralyzed and not hit. Although that could be okay, because then I could sack Incineroar and try again. I would lose my attack boost, though. Oh, I got the Trick Room! Okay, that's awesome. Light screen wore off. But I think the double damage and from and not worrying about spirit break, yeah. We'll go physical terra blast and glacial lance. Let's do it. Using P2 Terra offensively. That's cool. I like poison terra blast. That's a, that's a cool trick. Now hopefully it works. I've got a lot of damage coming their way now. Still would have preferred a special attack. But... Woo boy! Alright, Calyrex. Let's go. This is what you can really do. And P2 can't move because it's paralyzed. Yeah. Alright, what you got? We eat that, because you're not specs. You haven't protected either, so like... Definitely Assault Vest. Oh, they were trying to... Yeah, they're Assault Vest. They were trying to bait a ground move into the Iron Jugulus. That's why they did that, because I went for a ground move last time. Good game, Maridon. Maridon's so cool, so strong. But I guess I won't be doing an Assault Vest set, if that is what that was. <laughs> I think Specs is probably the most consistent, but good game. Finally got a dub. Okay, we've got Maridon, Bundle, Hands, Lando, Golden Go, and Jugulus. Okay, the biggest problems I see is that Iron Hands could be Min Speed tying Calyrex. Don't see Trick Room on their team though, so I doubt they would go that way, especially on a Tailwind team. So... Offense with Calyrex or with P2? Calyrex can bait a Make It Rain and go Terra Water, which is pretty solid. Pair that with Incineroar, probably would be faster than their Iron Hands. Incineroar seems pretty good overall, actually. I like bringing Incineroar. Incineroar Calyrex, just go straight for a sweep turn two. The problem would be the Iron Hands, so we would need Amoongus for that. Because if I'm going to go Terra Water against Golden Go. In fact, Terra Water seems pretty bad against this team. Hold up. <laughs> uh, I don't love P2, but I don't hate P2. Would a Fluttermane back end work? I think it's worth a shot. They do have a lot of weaknesses to Fluttermane. One, two, three fairy weaknesses. One Shadow Ball weakness. And even Iron Bundle, it's pretty frail on the special end. Might as well call it weak to that. Ooh, the Jugs. The Jugulus. Uh, oh, Lando Gold. Well, this is a golden opportunity for me to tear a water. Yep, no Intimidates here. Thank you very much. Well, well, that one, yeah. Well, I'll Intimidate you too. Oh, no, I won't. Clear Amulet. Good to know. Trick Room, please. Thank you. Yeah, I put on... Uh, yeah, I got a Terra. Terra Water. Click Trick Room. Fake out the Landorus. I put on a lot of pressure turn two. Yeah. Oh, they're just... They're just going with that. Goodbye. Shinji. The Iron Hands. Alright. You baited my water. Good job. Uh, they don't have Clear Amulet on the Iron Hands. That's good to know. They simply cannot. And we get 
fake out on Lando. They flinch, we get Trick Room. Happy, happy. Uh, there are shiny iron hands. Presumably that is also a hint that they're not min speed. Uh, I want as badly as I want to protect and parting shot. I'd be worried that they read that and fake out Incineroar. And I need to get a Moongus in yesterday. Because that puts me in a good position. Because then they can't just like go Terra Grass to avoid the range powder. Landers couldn't just go ter oh, Terraflying Terra Blast reading that swap right there would destroy me. But it doesn't seem to be that. Okay, it was the fake out there. A parting shot would have worked. Wish I had wish I had been bold enough to do that. And it's just stomping in there, fine. That does good damage because of the fake out. But now I can throw a lance. Finally. Just spore. Is Goggles Hands a thing? If Goggles Hands is a thing, it'll avoid Rage Powder just as much. Yeah. So it does not make a difference. Whether it's Spore or Rage Powder, Goggles Hands would be a problem. Okay, just get out of there. Cool. Into Mr. Irrelevant. You can definitely take this. And just to protect. That's fine. That's totally fine. I'm not even worried about Golden Go. Stalling out these turns well, though. It's okay, I can set it up again. I may have time to. Not bad damage on that Golden Go. Oh, uh, I'm gonna throw a Lance. And you're gonna... bring in hands? Bring in hands. I want to get some regenerator going. Yeah, that's what I want to do. All right, Incineroar, welcome back to the field. Yep, we still can't intimidate that. And it hard swaps. Is it Iron Hands, or is it Maridon? It is Iron Hands. Cool. And they're attacking with their Golden Go. With Nasty Plot. Interesting. You can only fake out one of us. You wouldn't fake out Protect. <laughs> Maybe you would. I'm gonna high horse power you. Hoping that knocks out. It probably should from here. And I'm gonna throw a knockoff at Golden Go. Oh, they're burning Terra here. Okay. What do you got? It's Iron Hands into water. That would imply an attack, right? Not gonna go for fake out? Just protect on the gold. High horsepower does almost all of it with a crit. And Incineroar eats that. Awesome. And we get our berry. Fantastic. And knock off his block. Whatever. Twisted Dimensions have returned. So this would be not a make it rain, probably a Shadow Ball at Calyrex. Which I can protect from. Oh, 
<laughs> and parting shot into a mucus. Soften up your iron hands a little bit. Bring in the redirector. Oh, just make it rain. Really? Really? Did not expect that. Yeah, and we predictably eat that. Fantastic. Now, I'm cool. If you want to hit a Moongus, that's cool. If you want to throw a move into the Protect, that's also cool. Like, I am not too worried about what you do here. Heavy Slam. Fine. I guess you were trying to cover something. That's fine. Getting this Trick Room would be huge in this position. If I Rage Powder, I'll get Shadow... Shadow Ball plus Wild Charge would probably take Calyrex at plus one and minus one. Just a minus one Wild Charge will not. Yeah, I need to go for this. I need to go for Rage Powder. They probably go for Make It Rain Wild Charge, if I had to guess. Yep. And I'm pretty sure Calyrex eats from here. Crit was on Amoongus. Okay. Yeah, get your crit out of the way there. Calyrex, you're so tanky. Come on, you got this. You got this. Oh, you totally got this. Whoa. <laughs> you got this more than I thought. Okay, now you're in trouble. In the back, they have Landorus and Maridon. Yeah. Awesome. It is Calyrex go time. High horsepower into Shinji. Knockoff into Golden Go. That's what I want to do. Uh, Landers could come in for either slot here. It would make sense. I don't remember these nicknames. That was Landers. Okay. Could I have predicted that? Yeah. But honestly, with Fluttermane in the back, I'm kind of okay. I, I kind of like that the Trick Room isn't going to last very long. And you can't, you can't tear that Landorus away. So now I'm just going to throw Lances. And I'm going to keep knocking off Golden Go. You go into Iron Hands, it's gone. You leave Golden Go in, it's gone. And Arceus help you if you switch in Maridon here. Which I assume is your fourth. Unless you thought it was that bad of a matchup. I mean, Maridon would have been an Amoongus swap in. Alright. Uh, give me a crit and get the attack boost on Golden Go. Ah, no. Okay. <laughs> oh, they were Metal Coat. That explains how much damage they did. Wow. So obviously I go for a Glacial Lance. There's two turns of Trick Room left. I wish there was one more. Yeah, because I protect here. They read that fake out Incineroar. Yeah, if they fake out Calyrex, I can't knock out Landorus. And they can double Calyrex. So I have to protect Calyrex. Sure, they can read that if they want. Ooh. 
if they don't, I should be able to take Iron Hands here, which is great. Yeah. Yeah, if, if Knockoff can take Iron Hands and Maridon is their last, they'll be sort of pinned. Because they don't have Terra and I have Fluttermane. And you knock out Incineroar. Cool! Good timing. Uh, I'm not sure why that was. I guess that was a U turn in case Iron Hands survived that turn. Yep, that's who it is. Awesome. Glacial Lance is super threatening to you. And Dazzling Gleam might be able to pick up a double KO from here, too. Alright, but is that what I need to click? Because you double protect if you can. Alright, it's 100% Glacial Lance. No question about it. The question is Moonblast versus Dazzling Gleam. I'm confident in Moonblast Okoing either. I'm not so sure about Gleam. Their Maridon is faster. If they double protect. Maridon's faster than Flutter. Could be trouble. I'm going to click Moonblast. Okay, Landers protects. Presumably, the other thing protects as well. <gasps> they don't have protect! Ooh! That's huge. That is so huge. That's game. Yeah! Alright! Alright, Calyrex. Ooh, eating Maridon. And then you just protect my Moonblast. Fine, fine, fine. Twisted Dimensions return to normal. I mean, you have to knock out Calyrex, which means I get two Moonblasts, India. Good game. Whew! Alright, I'm doing better now. Let's keep it rolling. Okay, oh, we've got a high rating we're facing now. If I can win this one against Eternatus, that's a good matchup. If I can take down an Eternatus. Ooh, that's a bulky team with a strong mode. Okay, I'm not sure which way they would go either. They've got one fake out. They've got yawn pressure, which could be annoying. My fake out would not be faster than their fake out unless they're going min speed Rillaboom. Amoongus. Not with Terra Water. Like, obviously Calyrex comes. Calyrex is good against a lot of those. They can't Terra them all. Araquanid plus Calyrex is good against everything except Dondozo. Do I want Trick Room at all? Yes. Is P2 good here? Not really. Calyrex, Amoongus, Araquanid, definitely. And so many Intimidables, it is Incineroar. No P2? No P2. No Fluttermane? No Fluttermane. Yeah, this works. Yeah, too many things beat Fluttermane here anyway. They're not weak to Fluttermane at all. Fluttermane is way too frail. It would just get bopped by all their physical. Okay, and oh, shiny Scrafty in a in some sort of ball. I don't remember what ball that is. Eternatus take Lou. You're just gonna give me two ice weaknesses off the bat. I'm cool with that. You've got pressure. You've got vessel ruin. We know. Yeah, I'm trick rooming and I'm rage powdering. Yes, that's what I'm doing. Because I put on pressure. You have to Terra one and swap the other. 
Glacial Lance could easily almost KO both. Those are really bulky Pokemon. Maybe not fully KO. Yeah, go for your silly little Intimidate. Not gonna happen. Uh, and the, okay, a Swap and a Terra. That will save you from a Glacial Lance. I'm glad I clicked Trick Room. Terra Grass, that would not have saved you from a Glacial Lance. But, I won't redirect your move. Which is bad. For you. Terrible for me. Except that it means I can high horsepower your Arcanine. Which is excellent for me. Oh! That's all you're doing? Whatever. Fine by me. Uh, what are the chances of the last one's Rillaboom? I'm wondering if I want to tear a water here. Just in case their goggles are can I. I mean, I can just click high horsepower. And if they swap. High horsepower, go into Aura Incineroar here. That's my play. That'll get us Fake Out Pressure. That'll get us a second super effective move into that Grass Eternatus. It'll get Amoongus out of the way. And what were you running, Arcanine? Oh, well, it's not Clear Amulet. And it's not Focus Ash, <laughs> goodbye. All right, getting that boost feels great. Keeping up with this cosmic powers you've got going on over there. Oh, and you just go for recover? Excellent. I love that. I love that I haven't burned Terra yet. And they've got Chen Pao. Fine by me. Give me the boosted damage I need against that Eternatus. And now I know what four you have. So I know that Terraing is good. Terra, Glacial Lance. Double it up with a Flare Blitz onto Eternatus. Just Terrastalizing so that Sucker Punch doesn't hurt as much. I expect Chen Pao might protect, but I think a Cosmic Power Recover Eternatus is unlikely to have protect at all. Otherwise, why would you recover at full HP when you can just protect? Yeah, there's the protect, because it was a fake out turn. But that was just bait. I just used it as bait. Now I wish I could get this KO with Calyrex. I did! Yo! Goodbye! <laughs> Alright. Once again, Chen Pao boosts the damage that KOs its partner. Yeah, by my calculations, that probably wouldn't have done it. I think Chen Pao mattered there. Eternatus is a bulky guy. And I was at plus one and he was at plus one, so it was like neutral. Yeah, I don't see what you do now. You can't take a Glacial Lance on Ting Lu, not with a Chen Pao on the field. And then the Flare Blitz double up finishes Chen Pao. Good game. Woo! That was fun. I got my momentum going. Okay, a positive rating. I like to see it. Do I like to see a wide guard user? No. But the rest of that doesn't seem so bad for Calyrex. Um, unless Ape... Um, no, that's definitely a bulky Ape. They wouldn't final Gambit on a bulky team like that. So it's definitely a bulky Ape. Which is kind of scary, if I'm being honest. Uh, P2 being immune to Rage Fist is nice. P2 Amoongus is so passive. But their team doesn't put on a lot of offensive pressure. I wish I had like a Swords Dance mod on this team. That's what that's what I'm missing. I don't have setup. I need something that can just boost sky high on pa passive plays. I think I'm going Calyrex Amoongus. Might be a slow game where I want Fluttermane. 
And honestly, Araquanid ain't bad. If, if they are like Terra Fire on that ape, Araquanid in the back could be awesome. Yeah, and Calyrex Amoongus, unless there are goggles on Araquanid, I can turn off the wide guard temporarily. Whew. Assuming I still have Amoongus at that point. Oh, Flaffy! Okay. Let's shake off all these losses. It is eight, and it is grim. It is not looking grim. Leading Ape is cool. I'm going to Trick Room and I'm going to Spore. Uh, they taunt the Spore. Okay, I get Trick Room. Fine. No, I don't. Their final Gambit. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Annihilate has more HP than Calyrex? Really? Okay. That's cool, I get to play Fluttermane mode now. Yeah, hi, Eternatus, whatever. Uh, I don't want a Terra. I'm just gonna send Gleams. <laughs> and how about Side Pollen Pump the Fluttermane? Any damage it takes, just undo it. Alright. Final Gambit, that's crazy. Oh wow, Grim took a lot. Uh, they're just the cosmic power, okay. So I'm probably gonna get like spirit broke. That's fine. And heal right back up. Thank you! Alright, then I'm perfectly happy to throw another Gleam. Probably just another Gleam Pollen Puff. They pretty much have to give me their Grim Snarl now. Yeah, I don't want to swap in a rack when it right this second. Okay, yeah, they do light screen. Just one last thing to do before you go down. That Eternatus is gonna be hard to break. But I'm getting Spore back soon. In fact, I get Spore back now, right? Spore could be big. Unless they are of Grass. Which they could be. Last one was Terra Grass. I don't really know Eternet as well enough to say what it's gonna be. And yes, Taunt's gone. Uh, if I could, I would like to not Terra Amoongus so that I can stay immune to Toxic. They send in their Araquanid. Alright, Fluttermane ain't doing nothing. Going to... My Araquanid. And Sporing. It's gotta be Eternatus. What I'm gonna plan on doing here is stalling out the light screen. But they could just set more and more cosmic powers. <laughs> oh, they have Flamethrower. Flamethrower and Toxic. Cool. Alright, let's see about getting rid of that Eternatus as soon as possible. How about it? Well, as soon as possible would be Terra Water Liquidation.
Which I should probably target Araquanid then, while I have a free turn here. Yeah, and I'll Pollen Puff my own Araquanid. They have Quick Claw Araquanid. It's okay. I'm Min Speed Araquanid, Min Speed Amoongus. You were gonna go first anyway. Quick Claw Araquanid. Okay. Okay. Just gonna accept that. It's Quick Claw Araquanid. Fine. They go for Leech Life and Lucas eats the crit. Oh boy. Astronautis is fast asleep. That was its mandatory turn. Show me half. Well over half. Love it. And heal you. Thank you. I really need to be swapping Amoongus. If I can swap Amoongus in safely, it wouldn't be safe. I mean, it's not a safe swap. I can protect. Yeah, I need to protect. Because I cannot just throw a Fluttermane out in the face of a possible liquidation from their Araquanid. Okay, no Quick Claw this time. They're asleep two turns. They leech life the Amoongus again. Liquidation's stronger, by the way. But you want the health back. But it won't matter. You are gone. Araquanid. Doing great. Um, I imagine Eternatus' final move is probably Recover. Cosmic Power, Recover, Flamethrower, Toxic. That makes sense to me. I'm gonna throw a liquidation here. Heal up my Amoongus a bit. Um, I guess I have Shadow Ball or Moonblast as my option. Shadow Ball with the special defense drop is probably better. Oh, three turn sleep, love it. Cause then I got defense drop with liquidation and special defense drop the other way. Swapping out Fluttermane would make sense. But I think they would want a toxic Araquanid, if anything, when they wake up. So I'm gonna bring Amoongus in on that slot. And I am gonna commit to Shadow Ball. Getting special defense drops over time would be better than the extra Moonblast damage. And special attack drops, I mean, they would be okay. We'll let Amoongus take another flamethrower from where it's currently at. but the damage is just slow, so low either way. Yeah, Toxic into the Amoog is great. Love to see it. Now hopefully that baits you into flamethrowering Amoongus. <sighs> but this Toxic ticking down is gonna be a problem. Keep clicking Shadow Ball. I'm gonna be swapping like every turn here. Eventually they're gonna get one right though. So I gotta be careful. Amoongus is now officially at high enough health to take a Shadow Ball. Not a Shadow Ball, a Flamethrower. Special Defense Drop, yes! And just a Flamethrower into Fluttermane. Cool! Fluttermane might go down here. Is that okay? No. No, it is not. Gonna cycle Fluttermane out now so that it's Toxic Timer gets reset and I can get maybe another two moves off instead of one. Yep, just to recover there. That makes sense. I will spore you, and then I will swap into Fluttermane. I wish that was doing a little bit more, or getting a defense drop, but it's fine. Oh, it has pressure too, doesn't it? Light screen is gone. 
That's excellent. Liquidation. Spore. Then I'll bring in Fluttermane on the Araquanid spot and Pollen Puff it. And then start throwing mean moon blasts. Yeah, flamethrower we should eat. Good. Liquidation. I would love a defense drop here. Just for later. Yes, thank you. I might be able to win this. <laughs> uh, I'm glad I PP up to my moves. It might matter against this thing. Alright, I don't like that I need to make the passive play. So I won't. I'm gonna click Liquidation and go into Fluttermane on this slot. I'm gonna end this in the next two turns. Because I get a Liquidation and a Moon Blast, guaranteed. Because it's asleep this turn, so this liquidation was guaranteed, and I'm faster, so my moon blast is guaranteed. Oh, and it does so much damage! Yes! Was that a crit? Yes! Yes, there we go! There we go, Araquanid! Yes! Thank you! And now you should. If you're not in moon blast range. Alright, we took 8 damage. The next one will do 16. We can take one more tick. Good. Liquidation. Moonblast is my strongest damage output. Let's get it. Oh, they've got a Terra. Do they have a Terra that resists Fairy? No. I don't understand this Terra in the slightest. That's worse. That is worse for you. In every way. Moonblast is the same and was going to take you out. Yes. Woo! Oh. Tornadus, man. Good game. Losing Calyrex turn one there was rough. But we pulled it back. That was that was some good best of one stuff you got there. Yeah, good game. Alright. We've got a Palkia team. Cool. That's so cool. Uh right away the scariest thing I see, though, is Iron Defense Registeel. What do I have that beats Registeel? Well, Ghost Incineroar wouldn't do bad, honestly. Um, but they also have Iron Valiant? And Milotic. Oh, Milotic is a problem for Incineroar. Okay, they've got double fake outs, and they've got Iron Defense. I want to lead Calyrex Amoongus. Both of those can protect. And even though. The Registeel's gonna get up an Iron Defense at some point. We'll just have to deal with it. Uh, Palkia. S Flutter seems okay against this team, except for Registeel. Registeel's a problem for Fluttermane, because I cannot do enough damage quickly enough. Araquanid. The water offense is kind of bad. Uh, Incineroar is good, especially if I save Terra for it. The question is whether Porygon 2 or Araquanid does better. Not many spread moves. Araquanid would probably be better than P2 against the Registeel, though. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Araquanid. There, there is some stuff that water can hit. Okay, ooh, Hisui Zork. Nice. Such good choices in trainer cards here. Much better selection than the latter. Palkia Milotic Lead. Something in my body tells me to be worried about gravity hypnosis. I'm gonna just trick room and I'm just gonna rage powder. Could this be Gravity Hypnosis? Uh, they led Milotic so that I shouldn't shouldn't have led Incineroar, that's good. I think I have the right lead. No Protects, no Terra's turn one. Uh, they could have Trick Room on their own Palkia. It's just Spatial Red. Okay, I think I was worried about 
Wow! That's a high crit move. And Skull does not take out a Moongus unless it burns. Which it does. Cool. <laughs> All right, a crit and a burn, a Moongus is down. All right. That's cool. Oh, they're Flame Orb Milotic. I can bring in Incineroar. Thank goodness. I much prefer this. All right, the Milotic is gonna take hits for days, years even. Because they are Marvel scale and not competitive, good. So now I throw a Glacial Lance. And I kind of want to just fake out the Milotic. I don't want to risk getting Scald burned. And Palkia doesn't get Scald. Now could Palkia just delete my Incineroar with a Hydro Pump? Maybe. That would be fine. Uh, Palkia swap. Do you have a better ice resist coming in? Yes, you do. Reggie Steel. Alright, I think I pulled back the Calyrex now. Because Araquanid is immune to burns, Araquanid can put on more pressure on the Registeel with its moves. Though I could just throw a High Horsepower and a Flare Blitz here. Who knows what Terra that Registeel is going to be anyway. Yeah, I just want to High Horsepower it while I still have the chance. And I'll also hit it with a knockoff. Yep, here comes a Terra. Is it Terra Water? You've got a lot of water on your team already. It is water. Well then Araquanid is not gonna beat it. <laughs> My horsepower does a reasonable chunk. They get their iron defense. I'm gonna knock off their leftovers now. Assuming they have leftovers. They did have leftovers. It's good to get rid of that. Oh no. Life do. Okay. I see. So the play is Terra Incineroar and get a crit on Registeel in the end game. And somehow delete my life. Yeah. Am I going to be able to delete my Melodic? I don't know. But I need to get rid of my Melodic. And I need... Oh boy. This one is not going my way. Alright, Terra Ghost Ensign. Let's go. I definitely need some way to boost attack on this team. Or another special attacker of some kind. Yeah, I'm just going for Iron Defense again. I like that I'm a ghost. I did good damage. They like do again. I wonder if I can take them out now from here with the next double up. Now, Knockoff is, is of course weaker this time. And only last turn a Trick Room. High horsepower knockoff. Still what I'm gonna go for. Because I need a crit to beat Registeel. So that's gonna just have to come later. That's uh, not gonna be enough. I feel like that other high horsepower did more. What happened? Calorus, why are you low rolling all of a sudden? Yep, and they are at plus six, and they're gonna hit Calyrex now. And there's not much I can do about it. Uh, 
I'm just gonna lose this one slowly. Protect. Burn on or a, a burn on Registeel would be pretty huge. Oh, they're gonna swap that. Okay. Into their own Incineroar. <laughs> I gotcha. They're just protecting my Calyrex. No need to worry about me. That does nothing, but does it burn? Oh, the first one. Okay. I'm not out of it now. I was totally out of this game until that happened. Heavy slam into Calyrex. Interesting play. Okay, I'm suddenly in this game again. I'm gonna swap in Araquanid. And I'm going to parting shot the Incineroar. Because now that Registeel is going to lose health slowly. Very slowly, but it's losing health. No fake out. Okay. Ooh, could this have just been a knockoff at my Incineroar slot? Getting rid of Calyrex is a uh, clear aim that could be annoying. Plus the knockoff damage. Yeah, that is what they did. Okay, that wasn't huge damage. Heavy slam would be winning. did. Yeah, we're fine. Alright, I would assume something wants to come in for Incineroar so it doesn't take a liquidation. And that would be either Milotic. Uh, you can parting shot now, too. Or... Rillaboom. No, you don't have Rillaboom. You have Palkia. So yeah, I'm gonna just double into the Incineroar slot. Hard swap on Incineroar. That could have been a parting shot. Into Palkia. That'll take this double up okay. Protect Registeel. Okay. Okay. Cool. Go oh, big damage. Incredible damage. And a defense drop on Palkia. Oh yeah, that's what we like to see. I'm gonna liquidation that slot just in case it becomes Incineroar. I should try to set Trick Room here. Palkia might just throw a big move. Another crit. Are you Scopelins? And the when it's gone. Okay. The Trick of the Rooms is here. But now, I high horsepower Palkia. And you're gonna be in a little bit of trouble there. And I can just fake out Registeel. And high horsepower the Palkia. Registeel just protects, that's fine, that's all I needed it to do. Uh, it's just a double protect, fine. I still just pressure with the high horsepower into the Palkia slot. There's not much they can do about it. I keep taking damage on Registeel too, I'm very happy about that. Uh, so I'll just throw a knockoff at Registeel. Just for damage, fish for the flinch that might help me later. And... 
Do I go for Lance this time? No, I'm just gonna go for High Horse Power. High Horse Power will definitely knock out Palkia. Yeah, and it does. Attack boost, yes! I'm gonna need that for when Incineroar comes in. And they go for Heavy Slam, which does nothing because that's base 40. Knockoff does also nothing because you're plus 6. A uh, Body Press would probably be more here into Calyrex. I don't know why you're using Heavy Slam. Maybe you don't know it's heavy. Alright, Incineroar comes and takes away my attack boost. Sad. Knock off, and I'm just gonna click attacks into it. It can fake out Calyrex if it wants. It'll have to take a little bit of chip from knockoff then. Maybe put it in high horsepower range. Because I think it might want to go for a knockoff onto my instant. That's what I'm worried about. Good damage with high horsepower. Body press into Calyrex does decent amount of damage. Knock off into Incineroar does a decent amount of damage. And I get rid of your item as well. Fair is fair. No berries for anybody. You weren't allowed to eat yours anyway. So now I knock off Registeel and High Horsepower Incineroar. I still don't think I win. I think another body press could take out Calyrex from here. Oh, there's a cr Oh, if I had just aimed that the other way and got that crit. <laughs> another attack boost is great. Body press does all of it. Oh, that's too bad. But if I crit this knockoff, which I don't, And Twisted Dimensions are back to normal. My Lodic will outspeed my Incineroar and Skulch clean this game up. You got the Marvel Skill Defense Boost. There's not really much I can do. Oh, I tried. I almost had it. This was a really bad matchup and I almost had it. They're just going for life, dude. You know, let's see how much a knockoff does to my Lodic. About an 8. So even a crit, they're gonna gain each turn. Alright, I'm out of here. Good game. Another really slow long one, oh boy. Good game. Okay, we've got a Maridon team. Have we seen this one before? Maridon, Fire Pond, Incineroar, Jugulus, Grim Snarl, and Iron Bundle. Lots of threats to Calyrex, but Calyrex can do some sweeping if it can get in at the right time. I think I need Porygon 2 to start out and set Trick Room. I also think my Fake Out Incineroar would be a good lead. So that's what I'm gonna go with. Calyrex obviously comes. And then Amoongus isn't that great if they can set Electric Terrain. Fluttermane does okay, except for the fire types. Is it Araquanid? Araquanid is good against not Maridon or Bundle, but Maridon or Bundle aren't the biggest problems for Porygon 2. Like, Maridon, Calyrex, Porygon 2 can kinda handle Maridon. I don't think I want Fluttermane because of the Fire Ogrepan. I think I want Araquanid because of the Fire Ogrepan. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna go with. It's a scary matchup, but I've been doing okay against Maridons in the past, so let's see what happens.
And yeah, we have fought them before. I remember that trainer card. Okay. And they know what we have. Oh, is this the Grimmsnarl with all the thunder waves? Paltita breaks the mold. Okay. Break all the mold you mold you want, Paltita. I'm gonna get a physical attack boost. Come on. Tricking the room and Parting Shot. They just set up reflect. Okay. Oh, they go for swords dance here. Cool. Cool play. I'm gonna just do a rack when it then. Alright, I assume you're gonna want a spiky shield. Don't know if that's a safe assumption, but it is my assumption. I'm gonna bring in Incineroar. And get a liquidation over on Grim. Just to try to keep your attack stat under control a little bit. Swap an Incin in and out. I assume this is just a spiky shield, though. Next turn, I should be able to get a big liquidation into that slot, though, if they do spiky shield. Yes, there we go. And it's just Thunder Wave. You like to annoy with that, it's fine, I get it. Put the odds a little more in your favor. Liquidation, does a little under half, no defense drop. Okay. You're swapping to a liquidation. Would not appreciate a parting shot. Yeah, that's what I like. I like that combo. Pressure the slot, I think Ogre Pond leaves. And if it stays in, it would then be at minus one. And if it Terra's, you probably don't want to do that. You probably don't want to Terra here. You know I'm coming after you. I'm really liking Araquanid. This team, I don't know. It's not quite right. But this Araquanid, I like. Yep, there's the swap. Lucha Elliot is their Incineroar. I'll take a liquidation into Incineroar all day. Sure, you live it. Probably. Oh, you took that really well. Oh, right, Reflect is up. Right. That, that, that damage is correct. Huh? Just a Spirit Break into Arachnid, whatever. It does nothing. So you got Intimidated twice now. And just Parting Shot. I think I will go into... Alright, I set up Trick Room. Liquidation, Liquidation. Two turns of Trick Room. I'm gonna go into P2. The Festive. Can I get a special attack boost this time? No. Chip down their Incineroar. Bring in Calyrex. Yeah, set up Calyrex to try to get an attack boost or something. Could be good. 
I mean, it feels a little risky to bring Calyrex there. I wish I could have stopped repeating the berry earlier. Yeah, it's just a fake out in that slot. That's good. And Thunder Wave the P2. Makes sense. P2's on the field a lot, it'll get paralyzed a lot. But not this turn. Good. Good, good, good. Now, last turn of Trick Room. You're gonna paralyze Calyrex. Or so you think. I'm gonna chip down your Incineroar more. And just protect Calyrex. I'm gonna try to get into the right position. Alright, I scared them into tearing. That's good. What's their Incineroar? Ghost? Yeah, fine. Fine. I have Shadow Ball. It's fine. You don't know I have Shadow Ball, but I have Shadow Ball. Will Shadow Ball KO from here? Might. I don't really care for it to KO. Spirit Break. And... Flare Blitz! Fine. Fine. I'm gonna reset the Trick Room, and I'm gonna go into Araquanid. And you should... Ooh. The right play on what I'm doing would be for them to Parting Shot the Araquanid, but that would be Parting Shot into Clear Amulet Calyrex. Which, you really don't want to do that. That's a hard button to click, even though it's the right play. I assume they'll want to knock off P2's Eviolite now. I'm not going to have Eviolite forever. Not when there are Incineroars running around. And now you set Light Screen. Okay, you might not die to Shadow Ball. Willow, good try. I'm paralyzed. Forgot you had Willow. Alright, I will Shadow Ball you, and I will send a liquidation your way, with the idea that this probably doesn't pick up a KO. Well, especially not if I don't move. I get the Shadow Ball, that's good. Yep, next one will KO, but not this one. Spirit Break the P2? Well, maybe the next one won't KO. <laughs> and they parting shot the Araquanid now. Cool. Everyone's weakened, and you got screens up. Ugh. Slow, annoying game. But it's going okay. Tomodachi? Ah, it's that. What do I do about that? Well, let's check stats. You still have an attack boost. Physical Terra Blast it, but I don't want to do that. I want to go into Incineroar. I'll throw a Liquidation into the other slot. I'm at risk of losing a rack when it instantly here, but if that happens, that helps bring in Calyrex. And if I remember correctly, they were not no protect on their Maridon. Spirit Break into that slot, which implies you're attacking Araquanid. No, you're attacking Incineroar. Who lives on top? Awesome. And the berry, good. Good job, Incineroar. 
goody bees. Uh, Reflect War off. We're gonna spend some time doing that. Two turns of Trick Room. I'll just fake out you and bring Calyrex in hard. Whew. This is a very slow, methodical game we got going here. They did position their Maridon well there to get big damage off, but it didn't take a KO. Kinda wish I had a Moongus now so I could be Pollen Puffing. Ah, oh, good swap. Yeah, it's your Incineroar. Nice. Well, you can only fake out one, the other one's gonna knock you out. If you fake out Incineroar, you cannot get a Will-O-Wisp. If you fake out Calyrex, you cannot click Will-O-Wisp. Yeah, okay. You're not gonna be able to Will-O-Wisp me. At all, I don't think. Ooh. What's this swap? Is that Mariah? No, it's Paltita. And that's a fake out into Calyrex then. Definitely. Yeah. And Incineroar is finally down. Okay. Got one. Got one of their Pokemon. And now the Dimensions are gone, and Maridon is going to come right back out. Yep. But it's the last turn of terrain, so I can just protect. Um, you're presumably going to Electro Shot into Incineroar, Electro Drift into Incineroar. So I'll just try to Parting Shot there. Protect Calyrex. It's fine. It's fine. Right? Elect oh, Electro Drift was into Calyrex? You're gonna let me parting shot here? You are! Interesting. Okay. Now, presumably, you would want to double Calyrex, right? Which is why I Trick Room and swap in Incineroar on that slot. And the electricity being gone is nice. Yeah, but doubling Calyrex would cover for Terra Water. But if I can just Trick Room... Bring in Insin as a sacrifice. And then get Calyrex back out under Trick Room. Oh boy. Oh boy, these long, slow matches. I need a more offensive Calyrex team. Or a different team altogether. Okay, Calyrex is the only one swapping, it looks like. Now you double Porygon 2, plus one Ivy Cudgel. Do you get it? Do you read that first of all? Oh, it's just Gleam, which Incineroar eats. Wow. They were gonna let Calyrex do Calyrex things. Yeah, with you at minus one now, you're still a plus one. Before we got to a plus one? Oh, uh, they have Reflect for another turn at least. So now I bring in Calyrex and fake out the Ogre Pond. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get there. I will get there. 
I can win this. <laughs> They're probably just as annoyed with me as I am with them. Oh my goodness. Alright, yeah, you can't eat berries. I don't think any of them have berries. They let me fake it out. That's interesting. I guess they weren't sure who was going to get faked out. And then it's a full switch. Which takes out Incineroar. I'm cool with that. Now, they burned Terra already. Which I'm actually really happy about. What I'm not happy about is that I'm about to get Thunder Wave. Oh, and Light Screen wore off. Yeah, if Araquanid and Calyrex can both attack into that left slot for the rest of Trick Room, we win. Three turns of Trick Room. They'll probably protect this one, but Glacial Lance hits the other guy anyway. I'm gonna burn Terra Water now. I really wanna make sure this double up gets it. And yeah, they probably just protect this turn, which is fine. A little spiky shield. Spiky shield, paralyze the Calyrex. Go on from there. No spiky shield. Okay. Maybe I should've Terra Calyrex just in case of a full para? Like, get the liquidation at least. Does that KO? It might. Not through Reflect, though. Yeah. And Glacial Lance. Yes! Boom! Critical hit on the Grim. Didn't even want that KO, but okay. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I think I can take a hit on Calyrex, too. Oh, three minutes until the battle ends? I guess it's my in my interest to click slowly, but all I need to do is click the Glacial Lance. And a liquidation. Do I want the time to run out? That might be in my best interest too, so I'm going- I'm not going to double protect here because of the paralysis could screw me there. But I am going to let the timer go down a little bit. Alright, we get the liquidation off at least. It does something. Calyrex does not move. And Electro Drift into it. I think we live at this range. Yes, we do. That's excellent. Alright, this turn, we either get the Glacial Lance or we win on timer, right? Glacial Lance, it's 75% chance that I get the Glacial Lance. But I need, I need this win. I need this win, and sometimes you gotta play them this way. Alright, I'll click it now. Araquanid couldn't move this time. As long as Glacial Lance goes off, and it does, that's game. Okay, I'm so done. <laughs> Why was every game so slow? Oh no. Oh, good game. Uh, I learned a lot about Calyrex today. And those are the matches. I think I learned a lot about Regulation G from this. Uh, I haven't been playing too much on Showdown, I'm still low ladder. Uh, and I've just been doing casual battles, and this is actually the first time I've played in the single restricted format. I didn't play it at all in Sword and Shield. But hopefully I get better as we go. Alright.
Thank you for watching. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you've made it this far. And I'm Jordy. And uh, all right, peace. <laughs>